monitor and measure suppliers and distributors directly in FreeQMS. This is a completely free feature of the FreeQMS Suppliers module available to all users. We believe FreeQMS is the only eQMS as of the upload date of this video to offer this functionality with no customization or build out necessary. First pass yield, first article inspection, reportable event review, nonconformance review, percentage based measurements, and more are now possible with a pre built, open ended electronic form. In the age of going green, the form and paper saving potential is enormous. In this video, we're going to cover the monitor and measure supplier activity. Like all our how-to videos, this video will cover both the background on this feature and how to use and complete the feature with a few examples. We're going to jump from our on-screen example to the FreeQMS home screen. This video has two basic parts. We're going to pick an example supplier from our system used in videos and complete a monitor and measure. This is a great tutorial for current system users. In the second part of the video indicated with bookmarks below, we'll create a new distributor from scratch and then create and complete a monitor and measure activity. This is a more inclusive look at the FreeQMS suppliers module and great for potential users who are evaluating the system or current users that need a refresher. For our first example, we'll create a monitor and measure activity for an existing supplier. Let's start by clicking the suppliers module. From the FreeQMS suppliers home screen, we can browse or select any supplier entered in the system. For most companies, this home screen, combined with the export button, will serve as a living approved supplier list, or ASL. Here, we'll pick our pending supplier, Next Level CNC, that is up for reapproval. So here we are at the information screen for Next Level CNC. Here you can see all sorts of info about the supplier, such as their evaluation level, last evaluation date. We have here the location of their headquarters our contact, John Deputy, and so on and so forth. For most companies, the data stored on the Information tab of a free QMS supplier will serve as a record card or general information about the supplier that is useful in evaluation. The exception may be the Scope section, which helps replace paper risk assessments. Free QMS allows companies to do more than just track information, however, through the Supplier Activities tab and the powerful Monitoring and Measuring activity. Since this supplier is already set up, let's go there now by clicking the tab. There are no activities for the supplier, but the supplier is up for reevaluation. Let's add one now by clicking the Create Supplier Activity button. From this form, we can create different supplier activities. The first supplier activity available at the time of this video upload is Monitor and Measure Performance. The Monitor and Measures activity allows companies to do away with paper forms for activities like reviewing nonconformances or CAPAs relating to a supplier or assessing supplier performance through metrics like first pass yield. The activity is set up in two parts. Let's do the first part now. To start the monitoring and measurement activity, we'll complete this form. Activity type will be monitor and measure performance. Status is new. Description, monitor and measure next level CNC. Assigned to the logged in user, Start date would be today, and due date will be tomorrow. Complete date is empty. Legacy record ID will be NA. Let's pause here. Remember, this is a two-part process. This handy tooltip lets us know that we need to create the initial activity before we can access the monitors and measures table. Notes, monitor and measure per supplier management SOP. More on this in a moment. Click the Create button. Great, the first step in creating the monitors and measures activity is complete. The top portion of the monitor and measure performance activity looks like most activities in FreeQMS, or most records for the matter. The top box stores basic information about the record, including dates. Here's what we really want. The powerful monitors and measures table. This table lets us measure components of supplier performance, like first pass yield or first article inspection, all from within FreeQMS. This supplier provides CNC services. We're going to perform two monitors required by our fictional SOP for a supplier of this risk, first pass yield and complaint review. Let's do this now by clicking the add a monitor or measure button. We'll complete this form along with the general explanation of best practices. Monitor or measure. We will type first pass yield. First pass yield is a comparison of the number of manufactured items that pass inspection versus the number received. The term first pass generally refers to the first run or pass of a new product or batch. 
For example, if a supplier is CNCing a new screw type, we would do an inspection of the first batch and see how things go. Metric? FreeQMS offers the ability to monitor suppliers in two ways, write-in or numeric. The form changes depending on which option we pick. Numeric is the best option for objective measures, hard numbers like first-pass yield. Write-in is the best option for subjective measures, descriptions or manual reviews like investigating a supplier's website. We'll click Numeric. For required performance, we'll select the greater than or equal to symbol from the dropdown and then enter 90%. This means we expect at least 90% of the parts received from the supplier to pass inspection. Measured performance. In the real world, we would now pull out our inspections or lot history record for the first pass of a new product from the supplier and compare how many items passed versus how many were received. In our fictional example, we will enter 91%. For sake of example, let's say we received 100 parts from the supplier and 91 of them passed. Here is the results and follow-up actions. Here's where we take action depending on the results of our monitor. For companies that perform a scoring of monitors such as a 1 through 5 or A to F scale, this would be a great place to enter that information. For this example, our supplier has passed the monitor, so we'll enter first pass yield is above requirement. No further action required. Products or services. Here's another great flexibility of FreeQMS. In designing the system, we wanted to ensure customers can monitor different products and services for a given supplier. It's quite uncommon to have a single, high-risk supplier provide products and services that fall under different measurements. For example, a supplier could provide a minor component used in a product we assemble in-house that might only be subject to a first article inspection. That supplier could also provide a major, sterile-packed component that is a subject to a complaint review, first-pass yield, etc. Monitors and measures can be repeatedly performed for a single supplier and only the appropriate products selected. Here we'll select the first product. Lots reviewed. We'll enter a fictional lot for our first pass, L1201. Regulations and standards. Once again, we can do repeat evaluations of the same supplier to different applicable standards if necessary. Let's select the first option. The notes, obviously, are very open-ended and another opportunity to enter grading if used by your company. We will put NA. Now go ahead and click Create. Great, we've created a monitor and measure within the table. We can click the button to add as many of these as we need to cover a procedure's requirement for the supplier. Below, we have the evidence table. The evidence table is fairly open-ended depending on what proof your company requires for completion of an activity. In this case, it would be a best practice to add the lot history record we received to determine our first pass yield. Remember, FreeQMS is an FDA 21 CFR Part 11 electronic signature compliant so there should be no additional need to perform a manual review and signature of the lot history record. Any activities performed by your user are already timestamped with an electronic signature, so uploading a record and writing notes to the tune of reviewed as part of the first pass yield should be sufficient. We will click the Add Supplier Activity Verification button. In evidence, we'll write reviewed as part of the first pass yield. Then next to Upload, click Choose File. We will select a demonstration file from our computer meant to be the lot history record, and finish the upload. What we're uploading here is fairly self-explanatory, but we'll add in the notes, lot history record for the first pass of new product by this supplier. Now let's click Create. Great, now we're back at our supplier activity. We can see the status of this activity is still marked as new, but that isn't correct. We've completed the activity. Activities may be reviewed and closed as part of the supplier approval process or as they are completed, depending on your procedures and workflow. For this example, we're going to close the activity now. Let's click Edit. From here, we'll edit the activity status to be closed. We've finished this monitor and measure. At the bottom of this form, we'll click Save. Great, we've completed the monitor and measure performance activity in FreeQMS for an existing supplier. This concludes our demo of the system for existing suppliers. The next part of our video will cover creating a distributor from scratch and then performing both a numeric and a write-in monitor and measure.